Welcome back. Now, there's been several political movements and alignments going on in the political space of Nigeria ahead of the 2019 general elections. One of such is the unveiling of the Coalition for Nigeria in Abuja. This is coming barely two weeks after former President Obasanjo dismissed the two major political parties as APC and PDP and advocated for a coalition for Nigeria. Now, that movement has been unveiled in Abuja. It's but now the, a reality. Now a reality. Mm -hmm. but, but the coalition was quick to dismiss insinuations that it was rolling out Obasanjo's script, adding and that it, was, it is... It also stressed that it was not a political... Party. Party. I think that it is an independent movement aimed at moving Nigeria forward. forward. Now, coming to the studio, I had some analyst on radio talking about how the people that most of them, uh, the bulk of the people in the group, are either disgruntled members of the PDP or disgruntled <laughs> members of, of the, the APC. APC <laughs> and disgruntled members. In, 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 anyway, words, in other this, words, sour grapes exactly all of them all of them coming together <laughs> how would they change nigeria if they are all disgruntled but it's not for us to say so we have in the studio to help us discuss this um here in our legal studio we have mr jay bukwe uh member of the all progressives congress thank you for joining us good morning thanks should i say me. a chieftain of the all progressives of congress course. Yeah, chieftain <laughs> of the all progressives <laughs> congress <laughs> welcome mr uh, bukwe proudly apc <laughs> also like joining us here in Lagos mm -hmm. is Chima Naji, a legal practitioner and public affairs analyst. Thank you for joining us. Good morning and uh, thank you for having me. From our Abuja studio, we have Dr. Kach Ononuju, a member of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's, uh, I think we should start from Abuja. Well, let's start with Kach, yes. For okay. a change. For a change. Mm -hmm. Dr. Anandu, tell us what you, um, the current political space, in your own view, how would you describe it? Thank you very much. I will describe what's going on as uh, uh, the final report. You've already said it. It is the time to create a platform to the, for the disgruntled members of the coalition that was built primarily to remove President Goodluck Jonathan from power. Mm. But that coalition was, yes, able to win election, but was not allowed by the antics of President Muhammad Buhari to form government. So in principle, the APC coalition won election, but the APC was not allowed by President Buhari's strategy to form government. And because of not lack of inclusion, lack of cohesion, lack of consultation of the members of that coalition called APC, and of course the employment of nepotism as policy by President Buhari, the disgruntled members of that coalition have now sought to build a platform where all of them will leave the old coalition called the APC, they will come out, assemble themselves at a, a proper junction to be well identified, and afterwards will now renegotiate to form a coalition with the PDP to come back to power. For me, that's what it is. Okay. I am not surprised with what it has been. Okay. And I believe Thanks, this will continue Thank you. Thank you, to dog Nigeria going forward for the next eight years. Okay. I Thanks. do not Thanks, expect catch. this. To stop any time. Of course, that's a, that's a partisan view. He's a politician and he belongs to uh, the PDP. Uh, Chima, let's, let me. Let's 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 no, no, before he reacts, let me just ask Chima. You should jump first. separate <laughs> them. <laughs> you the middle man. Are I'm you acting as man? Or you want to see a quarrel? Yes, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a middle man here. Okay, now, Joe. <laughs> You know, so, somebody tells me that the loudest person in the room is not the strongest. You see, somebody described um, stupidity. It's not, you know, I'm not trying to abuse anyone. And somebody who says the truth knows the truth, but chooses to live or lies. Um, some people will be disappointed again. Again. You know, this is uh, two and a half years to the end of this first time. But people are talking. 
where they are talking. You know, in a football pitch, you have thousands of spectators. Some, as, as those, the actors are playing, you know, in the field. They will just be playing in the air, you know, some will be, you know. So, they are liberty to do that. But the real actors are in the field. Our eyes, our eyes are fixed on the ball. I will not look at distractions. Uh, Joe, are you we, sure your eyes are fixed on the ball? Because mm. I can tell you this for free. I'm sure you've heard this a million times. Mm. That many people who voted for the APC in 2015 yes. mm. have come away feeling rather disappointed. Mm. Expectations were very high. Mm. And they, f they feel let down. Mm. Okay. Those people will not tell you what is going on. We will tell you. That's why I started with people. With uh, people who see lies, know, who see the truth, knowing the truth, and then continue to to, to to depend on lies, they will not talk. They will tell you nothing has happened. They will tell you they have not seen anything yet. But we are seeing things. We are seeing things, and I will just name four things, four areas: agriculture. There is now a revolution in rice production that will have reduced the importation of rice from Thailand. About 60, uh, you know, 60%. That's this not one. A, this is not a soapbox. Allow so. me, allow me <laughs> to. The same people are disgruntled. People are not happy. Mm -hmm. But let me say why they are not happy. The looters will not be happy. Those who are stealing from, tier, from, from, from thousands of accounts, they openly, MDS, more than 600 MDS, will not be happy. Those so, who houses were seized. Some will not of the be ones happy. that Dr. Onanuju mentioned, are they also looters? He said members of the APC. No, because. these are people that cannot see money. They have depended on government for years. But they are members of your party, according they to They can be. It's not everybody that is a member of our party that has come to build. Some have come to eat. Mm. Some come to build. Some come to eat. So we should not allow those noisemakers who are looking for money that is no longer there. Mm. They said, look, I want to explain this. I have worked with Lagos for close to 14 years now. And I know how the platform was laid from 1999. It's been, you know, because foundation is important in anything you are doing. What Nigeria did, PMB, Buhari inherited, what Nigeria did he inherit in 2015? A totally devastated house, <laughs> deframed, destroyed, looted to bones. It was not like Lagos. Okay. It was okay. not like Lagos. Okay. So as, as at the time he came, the economy, there was no economy. There was no money. Oil was lowest. In fact, the, what we are pumping to outside is less than 1 million from 2 point, less than right 1 now. million barrels. Right less now. Than, now it has increased. Okay. But I'm talking about what Bukwe, was you know, When you say there was no money, there was hunger everywhere, there are those who argue with you that when you came, the Nile was about... It's don't you use that that's what they don't argue. Use, that's a, no, that's an use, argument. Someone yes. just sent that. Yes, don't so, use it to George. They, they <coughs> pretend <coughs> as if they are not seeing anything. Okay. They pretend as if. As I speak to you now, in 45 years, this is the first time our internal revenue is approaching that of what we get from oil. That is a major landmark. Okay. okay. That okay. is a major landmark okay. nobody is talking about. Okay. Mr. Naji, you don't belong to any political party, I assume. Yes. Good. Uh, we're looking at the political firmament. And um, to some, it's, it is rather murky. We have tried PDP. We came away disgruntled. APC is there now. In fact, we are still disgruntled. Mm. And yet we don't see anything in the horizon that looks like we're going to be given a choice in 2019. <clears throat> what are your thoughts about what is going on right now and the political scene, APC, PDP, and the others? Well, um, like you rightly said, I am an independent uh, thinker. C candidate. Thinker. <laughs> Influenced by nobody's thought that is negative. I mean, this country, too, 
And like Joe said, it is not those who have the loudest mouth that may be saying the truth. I, I, I hope I quoted him well. Mm -hmm. Nigerian politicians have been the loudest mouth in the public space. And so, if we go by his theory, <laughs> neither PDP nor APC membership could be telling the truth. He said it. I didn't. I'm only downloading what is on the internet. <laughs> if you get my drift. <laughs> so, this is the internet. This is the internet here now. <laughs>